just begin to close our eyes or shift your gaze softly towards the floor, whatever feels comfortable for you. And just taking an inhale and exhale through the nose here. Begin to bring awareness into the body. Feel ready on your next exhale, bringing your hands to heart center. We'll open the class with one arm, so you can either listen or join in if you would like. We'll inhale. Shifting yourself either onto your left or your right hip to come off of your bolster, your block. And you're going to uh, lay down on the mat, finding a comfortable position. Just going like this. This is awesome. Is everyone back comfortable laying like that? Yes. An invitation to close the eyes or have any soft gaze. And here, just taking a big inhale through the nose and then sighing it out the mouth. <sighs> Two more like that. Inhale through the nose. <sighs> One more. Let me begin to bring my hands to the breath. Witnessing where the breath is going. Is it in our chest, our belly? Can we feel it coming in and out of our nostrils? And again, not altering it, not changing it. Just like Just as the noses around us, our breath passes and goes, so do our thoughts. Witnessing our thoughts passing and departing, just with 
but at the same, not in fearing, not even judging, because the moment you judge, you have lost the pure witness. The moment you say, this is good, this is bad, you have already jumped onto your thought process. So for the next hour on this mat, we can begin to anchor ourselves into our breath and our thoughts around difficult moments, difficult poses, to just come and go. Just like the wind rustles through the trees and stops, everything comes and goes. And if we can loosen our grip, take a breath, yourself a moment on this mat to just meet yourself wherever you are today and allowing it to just Stretch our arms out over our head, point the feet and flex, stretching. And whenever you're ready, coming up again, either to heel those toes or to your comfortable cross legged position. From here, we're going to do um, a breathing technique. So I'm going to show two different ways to do it. So we first, we have alternate nostril breathing. So our left hand can come onto our lap, our thumb and our index finger can meet, we're going to like this if that's comfortable. On our right hand, the peace fingers, the index in the middle, are going to come down into the palm, meeting our thumb and then our ring and our pinky up. From here, our right thumb is going to block our right nostril. We're going to breathe into the left with a count of four, retain the other nostril, hold the other nostril with the ring for pinky. Hold the breath for four, and then release it out of the right nostril for four. Then you would breathe in to the right, hold, release. The other option is our hands can just come down to our knees like this, and you can just breathe in for four, hold for four, release for four, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay? So just taking an inhale and an exhale here. Bringing the right thumb up to the nostril, blocking. Breathing into the left for one, two, three, four. Close, retain. One, two, three, four. And exhale. One, two, three, four. Out of the right. Beautiful. I'm just making sure that elbow is tucked in to your chest. Nice. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Retain. Breathing into the left, one, two, three, four, retain, three, four, release, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, retain, one, two, three, four, release. Meditation to close the eyes or shift the ears down towards 
ensure that you end exhaling out of the left nostril. Noticing any subtle shifts in the body, you can start doing breathing. Remembering again throughout the practice that the breath is our anchor. And any pose that we're in, whether it feels good, it feels difficult, we're going to breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. On the next inhale, taking our hands from our side and shifting them up towards the sky. Exhaling the right hand, dropping down to the right side. Breathing in, lifting. And then exhaling, folding over the, uh, to the right side of the body, feeling a stretch in the left. As you exhale, just allow the shoulders to come down from your ears a little bit. If it feels comfortable for you, Shifting to the front, and then as you exhale, opening up that body once again, shining the chest up. Beautiful. One more breath here. On the next inhale, our hands coming up towards the sky once again. Exhaling the left down to our side body. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale, folding over. Inhale, you can come down towards your knee, and then as you exhale, shining up once again, that chest up towards the heart. Beautiful. From here, our next inhale again, coming up and down, hands coming down, back to our knees. Beautiful. From here, you just roll out your wrists. Switching to the other side. And you shake them out like this, come back. Head through some cracks. Remembering we're still breathing in and out through our nostrils. Nice. And allowing them to come back down towards our knees. We'll gently stretch the neck from here. So as we, uh, on our next exhale, our right ear will meet our right shoulder. So just gently allowing the neck to move to the right side. You can even move the neck around a little bit. You might find like a sweet spot that's extra tender. And then breathing in there. If you'd like a deeper stretch, you can take your right arm up and over your left ear and not pulling or tugging, but just allowing gravity to do its job. The next exhale, allowing the hands to come down and the head back to center. You can just do a little counter stretch here to pull this up. Breathing in, coming back to center. And now the left ear is going to meet the left shoulder. So exhaling over to the left side. And one, one, one side might be tighter than the other. Just meeting yourself wherever you are and breathing. Invitation again to take that left hand over. And 
and exhaling, releasing the hand, coming back to center. Gently coming to all fours to a tabletop position. Moving any blocks or pillows up to the side. So when you come to your tabletop, just making sure that your wrists are under your shoulders and that your knees are in line with your hips. Beautiful. And then you just want your knees to be hip distance apart. Doesn't that sound like this? Everybody's looking. Perfect. And if your knees begin to hurt, you can always put towels underneath them to give you some extra support. So from here, we're going to do cat-cow. So if you've never seen this, you can watch me model first. So as I inhale, I'm going to arch my gaze up, tucking navel to spine, chest opening in the front. And as I exhale, I'm going to round over with my navel tucking into my spine, pressing the floor away with my hands. Inhale. Exhale, I'm really talking that navel into spine, rounding. Inhale, chest opening, collarbone wide. Exhale. Just taking a few rounds here, inhaling, exhaling, and moving however it feels good to your body. Second round, just finding a neutral tabletop position once again. And we're going to come into our first downward dog. So on your next exhale, you're going to begin to curl your toes into the mat, shifting your hips up towards the sky, pushing the ground away with your hands, and really making sure that the weight is coming into that L shape of your hands. So weight can be taken by your thumb and your index finger. Giving a nice generous bend to the knees especially if you have tight hamstrings like me. So the more you bend, the better it will feel. Good. And really making sure that you're pushing away from the ground with your hands. We're gonna do three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. You can even pedal out the feet if you want. Waking up the hamstrings. Coming to the tippy toes, back down again. Yeah, you could come downward if you ever feel uncomfortable or want to come down. You could always go into the child's pose. And on the next exhale here, you're going to slowly walk your feet up to the top of your mat, in between your hands, and then just exhale, folding over the knees, and I guess again, giving a nice generous bend to the knees because we're just warming up here. Yep, perfect. You can even bring the feet in towards each other a little more. You only need to hit this as far as it. And then folding over. Shaking the head out. Yes, no. You can grab opposite elbows if you want. Swaying left to right. One more breath here. Inhale. And then as you exhale, allowing your hands to come down again and slowly rolling up the body vertebrae by vertebrae with the head curling up less. From here, we're going to stand in Tadasana Mountain Pose. So again, the feet are going to be hip distance apart. You're going to be drawing energy up from the ground all the way to the top of your head. So start to engage the thighs making sure that all four corners of the feet are pressed into the mat. Engage your abdomen, navel to spine. Exhale, shoulders into the back, palms out, facing forward, and almost like a string is drawing your head up towards the sky. Inhale, exhale here, beautiful. From here, just getting 
then you ask little bits of tension out of our body. You can roll the head side to side, jump up and down, shake it out, whatever feels good for you. Shake it out those wrists again. We're going to be doing Sura Namaskar, our sun salutation. So now we're going to start to really warm up the body, get the heart rate up. So whatever you need to get out, get it out now. Something nice to do too is to inhale coming up on your, to your tippy toes and then exhale into your heels. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Finding a place of stillness here. Sura Namaskar, Sun Salutations. So I'm gonna take you through the first two rounds slowly, and each movement is a breath. Okay? Um, is this better for the system? Do you want to do this here? Okay. So inhale, exhale, the hands at heart center. Inhale, the hands come up over your head. Exhale, folding down over the feet. Then you're going to inhale your right leg behind you and stepping the knee down to the ground. Beautiful. Tenting the fingers up and shining the chest out. Nice. You're going to retain the breath into a plank or a tabletop, whatever feels good for you. Then as you exhale, you're going to bring your knees <coughs> your chest, hugging the elbows in, and then your chin down to the ground. Good, hug the elbows in towards the body, beautiful. Lean towards? Yep, like this. Cool. Perfect. Then you're gonna inhale into a cobra, baby cobras. So really pressing those feet into the ground, perfect. Exhale into a downward facing dog. Inhale to a tabletop, and then bringing that right foot in between your hands. Perfect. Inhale. <laughs> Exhale, coming to the front of the mat, folding over. Inhaling, hands up towards the sky, and then exhaling, hands at heart center. Beautiful. <laughs> Also gonna, I'll show you another version that might be a little bit easier too if you need. So inhale, hands up. Exhale, bowing down to the ground. Inhale into a tabletop. Exhale, coming, bringing the, the chest and the chin down. Inhale, sliding into a cobra, pressing the tops of the foot into the mat. Beautiful. Elbows into the body. Perfect. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, tabletop, bringing the left foot in between the feet. Tensing the fingers. Nice. You got it. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yep, so your this left foot's gonna be forward in between your hands. And that and then the back one is bended down. The knee is to the ground. Perfect. There you go. Heads up. Exhale, front of the mat. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Two more rounds, okay? <laughs> Inhale. Exhale, bowing down. Inhale, right foot back. Down to the ground, beautiful. Retain the breath into that tabletop position or a plank, whatever feels good for your body. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, pressing into those back feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a resting breath here, in, out. Nice. Inhale, tabletop, bringing that right foot in between the hands. Perfect. Tensing up the fingers. Exhaling, meeting at the top of the mat. Inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, hands up heart center. Inhale, hands up. 
exhale, bowing over the legs. Inhale, left leg back, knee to the ground, tented fingers up. Retain your breath into your tabletop or plank. Exhaling, the knees, the chest, the chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale into your tabletop, bringing that right foot in front. We're doing the right foot, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exhaling, meeting at the top of the mat. Inhale, hands up. Exhaling, hands in front center. Do you want to do that also? Yeah. <laughs> it's getting hot. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left foot back, knee to the ground, tented fingers. Retain the breath into that tabletop or plank. Exhaling, elbows squeezed in, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Pressing into your feet, the back to your feet to be down and press good. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, tabletop, bringing the left in between your hands. Beautiful. Exhaling, both feet meeting at the top of the mat. Inhale, hands up. Exhaling, hands at heart center. One more round, one breath, one movement. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, right. Retain the breath. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, uh, tabletop position. Bringing that right foot in between the hands. Exhale, feet meet at the top of the mat. Inhale up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale left. Retain the breath. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot in between the hands. Exhale, meeting at the top of the mat. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands at heart center. And again, just coming to our Tadasana, our hands can be out by our side, palms facing out. Invitation to close the eyes or shift the gaze downward. Slowing down our breath. Inhaling, exhaling through the nose. And just feeling the effects of the sun salutations heating up our body. Now we're going to go into warrior one. Okay, so from our Tadasana position, our feet are going to be hip distance apart. My left leg is going to go out behind me, and the position of my foot, my, my toes, are going to be shifting towards the upper right corner of the mat. Perfect. Then my left leg is going to be bending forward. Perfect. You want to make sure that the knee is in, knee, uh, in line with the ankle. Sorry. I, I, yeah. I, I think I'm uh, backwards. So the left leg's going to be in front of you. Yep. Okay. I have the right to make it right. That's Yeah. And oh, either way, it's okay. okay. Yeah. Even if you do the opposite of me, just being mindful for yourself, so then you switch it the other way. Okay? So bending, making sure the knee's in line with the uh, ankle. And you want to see the knee over, like, these two, uh, the two uh, toes by the big foot. Okay? Take your hands to your hips and just shift your hips front towards the knee. Beautiful. And right here, just breathe in and out and start to pay attention to your feet. 
You want both feet to be pressing into the mat, all four corners, as if you're ripping the mat apart. When you're ready, inhaling the hands up, exhaling shoulders down away from our ears. Beautiful. Really bend into that front knee a little more. Perfect. And then shifting up your chest. Nice. Beautiful. Two more breaths here. From here, our hands can come down again to our hips. We're going to go into warrior three. Okay? So our <clears throat> we're going to be shifting all the weight into our left foot. So you might take a little few hops and just let your foot, your back foot hover a little bit here as you shift weight into the left. Then when you're ready, begin to bring that back foot up. The hands can come out by our sides like an airplane. And finding a point of stillness in front of us to gaze on. Now, if it's hard to maintain balance, maybe the foot comes down a little bit towards the ground. I want to make sure the hips are squared in front of us. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Balance is hard. <laughs> and if you come out of it, again, right, breathing and going back in. Maybe the foot comes down a little bit. Exhaling, meeting at the top of our mat here. Beautiful. Now we're going to the other side. <laughs> So now it's going to be um, the left side. So bring that left foot behind us, or whatever opposite foot it is for you, making sure that those toes are towards the front of the mat, bending into that front knee. Good. Hands at the hips, square them to the front. Inhale, lift arms up. And then exhale, shoulders away from the ear. Beautiful. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, we're going to take that right leg behind us again. It's a warrior two. So this time, our foot is going to be parallel to the back of the mat. Nice. Perfect. Bend into that front knee once again, making sure that knee and ankle are in line. Then the hands are at the hips, and they're going to go out towards the side, to the wall. Perfect. Inhale, chest up. Exhaling, the arms are going to come out by our side. Beautiful. And our gaze is going to go over our middle finger of our left hand. Continue to bend that knee. Nice. Exhaling, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Perfect. Everyone looks really good. From here, the next exhale, our right hand is going to slide down our right leg. And our left is going to come over our ear into Peaceful Warrior. Checking in with that front knee, making sure we're still bending in. Nice. And breathing here, feeling the side stretch. Beautiful. On the next inhale, coming up, straightening both legs, we're going to go into triangle. So you can bring that back foot in a little more. The front is still going to be, the left is still going to be facing out. Nice. Perfect. 
for the front left foot face down. Yep. And you can bring them in a little more if you want. Perfect. You're going to inhale the hands up. Exhale, pull the left arm forward, shifting the hips back. And then you're going to come down towards the left foot. And your hand's going to meet your left shin, your ankle, whatever works for you. Then you're going to inhale as if you're doing that cobra with your chest. So you want to feel as if there's a wall behind your back and you're completely on it straight. Nice. Do you mind if I adjust you? Yeah. Side stretch. Beautiful. And then exhaling, mountain pose back at the, the front leg. Nice. Now to the left side. Exhaling that uh, left foot back into warrior two. So again, the foot is parallel to the back of the mat, bending into the front knee, hips facing uh, towards the door. Perfect. Inhale the arms up to the side, shifting the gaze over the right middle finger. Again, just being mindful that weight is in both feet and we're not collapsing into anything. Nice. Inhale, exhale here. Feeling the strength of our body. On the next exhale, bringing that left hand down along the left leg, continuing to bend into the front and taking our hand over our ear, giving our body a nice side stretch, peaceful warrior. Coming back up, straightening that front leg. You can bring the back in a little more, but you're going to our triangle once again. Good. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, you're going to sort of shift forward, so your hips are going back. And then you're going to come down towards that right leg. Then as you inhale, start to open up that chest as if you're doing a cobra and you're going to go back against the wall. I mean, a wall against your back. <laughs> Good, you might need to come up a little bit. Bring your knee, that's okay. Good. Just make it straight. Good, perfect. Nice. And then coming back up, legs straight. Beginning to bring that uh, hand down along the left leg once again, coming into a reverse triangle for a side stretch. Inhale, exhale, and then coming back up to the mat. Beautiful. Okay, shift down here, baby. <laughs> From here, we're going to be doing our last standing pose. So the standing pose are all strength 
poses and, and balancing poses. So the last one is tree pose. Okay, so I'll face this way so you guys can see. So from here, you're in Tadasana, and then you're gonna start to just uh, curl your toes of your right foot up onto the mat, and start to bring weight into that left leg. So again, you wanna make sure that your thigh above your knee is engaged. All four corners of the foot are pressed into the mat. Just stay here for a moment and breathe. And whenever you're ready, start to bring that right foot onto the ankle, or maybe the shin. You wanna make sure that your, your right knee is like opening up towards the side. Beautiful. Finding a point of stillness in front of you to focus on. Inhale, exhale here. Whenever we come out of the pose, you can go back. If it's comfortable for you, you can even bring your foot up into your thigh. Pressing foot into thigh, thigh into foot. Maybe the hands come to prayer. We'll open up like a tree. And it's also totally okay to have your foot at your ankle if that's what works for you. And then you come out slowly, releasing that right foot to the ground, hands at heart center, and down on your side. Exhale and just let that go. The left side can be totally different from the right. So inhaling again. <clears throat> now the left foot, uh, toes are going to curl. And really shifting our weight into our right leg engaging. Inhale, the foot comes to the ankle or the shin. Finding a point of stillness to focus on. Start to come to heart center. We're up and open like a tree. Move your body wherever it's at. Just making sure that your foot is never on your knee, either below or above. And exhaling, coming slowly, releasing your leg, down to the ground, hands at heart center. Here we're going to go into chair pose. So just looking down at the feet, making sure they're hips distance apart. We're going to start to bend into our seat and shifting weight into our heels. So you can even lift your toes up because all of your weight is going back into your heels. Inhale the, hand, the arms up, shining the chest open. Beautiful. Take one breath here. And the next exhale, slowly shifting yourself down towards the mat, whatever weight works for you out of your chair. Coming into seated position. Okay. So our legs are gonna be out in front of us like this. Our feet can be on the floor and they can be bended. Yeah, we're gonna be doing boat pose here. So this is gonna be for our abdomen, okay? So we just wanna make sure if you feel anything in your lower back, let me know. So boat pose, our arms are gonna be out in front of us. And just from here, I want everyone to bring awareness to their abdomen. So as you exhale, sucking the navel into the spine and pulling up energy upwards and inwards, engaging your abs, the core. Just inhale, exhale here. When you feel that your abdomen is engaged and your core is engaged, Begin to shift the right and the left foot up off the ground. It can be just a little bit. And you're, you're gonna shift back a little bit, making sure that chest is up and open. Every time you exhale, navel to spine, energy inward, upward. Beautiful. The more you engage, the stronger your core gets. 
Maybe your legs come up a little more, even straight out. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Coming into tabletop position. And then slowly shifting weight back into a child pose. Our hands can be out in front of us or to our side if we want more of a gentle pose. Maybe even you want to bring your bring your forehead to the mat. You can even bring your arms to your sides if you want them like being like down like this, like like mat. Oh. Okay. Yep. I might just. No, it's too much. Too much. Okay. <laughs> That's just. He's thirty. I'm sixty. Right. <laughs> Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling, sighing out the mouth. <sighs> Maybe any noises you want to do two more of those. Just letting go of anything that is still with you and doesn't serve you. Beautiful. From here. We're going to go with the hair pose. If you want, you can watch, watch me first as I model. So you're going to be in your um, child's pose position, okay? Then you want your, um, your, the palm of your hands to go into the mat and they're straight along your side. You're going to inhale and begin to shift your hips up. And the, the crown of your head is going to come to the top of the mat. And you really want your body to be rounding here and hips coming into line with me. Again, engaging that core, inhaling, exhaling here, and making sure the shoulders are away from the ears. Beautiful. Shifting. You have to really like shift on the crown of your head to keep going up on the crown of your head. One more breath here. And as you exhale, slowly shifting the hips back down towards the feet, out just as you came in, going back into child's pose. Or maybe even bureau's pose if this is more comfortable for you. Just like this. Just taking a few breaths here. Feeling any shifts of so from here, with however it's comfortable for you, shifting the hips to the side, legs coming out in front of us, and just coming down to the mat in a comfortable spot, in a position. So from here, we're gonna do shoulder stand. So I'm gonna give you two choices. So both give us the same effects. Blood is coming down towards our head. This pose is really good for you. So the first is sleeping tiger. So your hands are just gonna come up above you and your legs are gonna come up above you. Like a sleeping tiger upside down. Beautiful, and just breathing here. Matt, do you wanna do shoulder stand? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. 
beginning to shift your legs up over you into plow. Your knees coming to your head, your forehead. If you're a tiger, you can just stay that way. You don't have to listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then bring the back of your hands to your to your lower back. Good. Squeeze the elbows in towards each other. And then exhaling the legs up. Feels really good. It's really, really good for you. Yeah, it does. It's really good. And I'm not doing too much. <laughs> so take two more breaths here. Whenever you're ready, releasing the legs and releasing the arms down to the mat. And just resting here for a minute. From here, we're gonna do fish pose. So again, you can watch me first if you've never done it. So the legs are gonna to come together, feet meeting each other and touching. And then we're gonna to start to roll the body back and forth so our elbows come, are coming underneath our body and our hands meet on our seat like this, resting next to each other. Once your elbows are underneath your body, you're gonna shift the weight into your elbows, bringing your chest up, your gaze towards your feet. And then you're going to exhale the crown of your head back and down towards the mat. And you can exhale here. <laughs> so now if that doesn't work for you, you can simply come up like this, put your hands behind you, and just arch your chest back up like this. Your feet out in front of you. That's my option. So, yep, so then you're going to bring your feet together. Good. Shift the gaze and now lift, put the weight into your elbows, and now bring the crown of the head back towards the, to the mat. Oh my lord. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh. Now take the long, the longest, deepest breath you have all day. And really just make sure that the weight is still in the elbows. You shouldn't really be feeling much in your head. Oh, beautiful. This is a very healing pose for the thyroid. And it's really opening up that chest, which doesn't happen a lot for us in today, today's world. So really just <coughs> breathing in and out through the chest here. On the next exhale, you're gonna come out just as you came in. So shifting the into the elbows, bringing the gaze back towards the feet, and then slowly releasing the head down, releasing the arms out by our side. And resting here. And the next inhale, or whenever you're ready, and you're always welcome to rest if that's what your body is calling for. You can bring your um, <clears throat> the heels of your feet in towards your seat, so your knees are bent. Perfect. Your hands are going to stay by your side, your palms in, in towards the mat. And you're going to make sure that the knees are hip distance apart, right, and your feet are hip distance apart. Not too much. Good, everyone looks good. Daddy, can you bring your feet in a little more if you want? Good. 
Now, in this pose, we're gonna go into bridge. Your hips are gonna start to go up towards the ceiling. So you're gonna be pressing into the heels, shifting the hips up towards the ceiling, and being mindful that the energy of the knees are drawing together. You don't want them to splay out. Beautiful, breathing here. Inhale. Exhaling, slowly bringing the hips back down towards the mat. Good. Exhaling, releasing here. Bridge your feet out a little bit more. Start. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do one more round. So inhale, shifting your hips up towards the sky, pressing into the feet. Slowly releasing the hips towards the ground. And just letting your legs out in front of you if you would like, and just resting here for a few breaths. And the second exhale, coming up to a seated position once again. Legs out straight in front of you. So from here, we're going to do a seated forward fold. So just press your hands into the mat, lifting your chest up as tall as you can, and bringing the hips in line with the, front, uh, with the shoulders. Good. We're going to inhale the hands up and over our head. Exhaling, folding over the legs. Now, if you have tight hamstrings, fold them all the way up so your chest meets your legs. Exhale, release the head here. And shift ourselves onto our stomachs, whatever really works for you. Just take a little pillow with your hands, bring your forehead to your hands, and just rest here for a moment. So the next pose is going to be Sphinx Pose. <clears throat> so our forearms are going to come out in front of us. <clears throat> and the elbows are going to be in line with the shoulders. Perfect. So we're just going to bring some awareness to our feet right now. So the feet can either come together, so the legs are together. And if that creates lower back pain, then they can, they can spread out a little bit. Whatever feels good. Then you just want to start to bring awareness to the tops of your feet. So pressing into the tops of your feet, engaging the thighs, the glutes, engaging the abs, sucking the navel to, to, to spine. And as that energy travels upward, inhale, pressing into the forearms and coming up. You shouldn't be feeling anything in your lower back. If you do, maybe just come down a little bit. Inhale. 
and exhale. And the next exhale, again, just finding the forehead to the mat, pillow with our hands. From here, this time, we're gonna bring our legs together. Again, if that doesn't feel good, you can bring them apart a little bit. The, the tips of our fingers are gonna meet our shoulders. The elbows are gonna be hugged into the body. Beautiful. Again, starting from the feet up, pressing into the feet, engaging the thighs, the glutes, the abdomen, and as you inhale, lifting your chest up. So now this is the back, so you should be able to lift your hands and you're still in your pose. This is back muscle. So you might be down here right now and that's okay. Beautiful. Nice, strong backs. You can keep the hands down if you want. And then exhale, letting it go. Forehead to mat. Releasing the legs, maybe the two big toes touch. And just breathing. So from here, we have prepared our back for our bow pose, okay? You guys can just watch me first and then we'll do it together. So the bow pose, my hands are gonna come down by this, my sides. I'm gonna bend my knees in towards my body. My hands are gonna grab my ankles or the top of my foot, whatever works for me, okay? As I inhale, I'm gonna kick into my feet and my body is gonna come up. Continuously kicking into the feet, you can even rock back and forth, making sure that the knees aren't splaying out. Now, for you today, it might be grabbing your ankles and being right here. This is still bow pose. Breathing. Then kicking into the hands if that feels good for you. Grabbing your feet would be the hard part. <laughs> and that's okay. So then, yeah, just try and just try to grab the feet. I wish I had a strap with the feet. Oh, you have what a strap. towel. There's a strap. Yeah, we can do a towel actually. Perfect. Grab my feet. What? No, so I can't even grab. I can't yeah. Even so maybe if you, you um, you're very close. Maybe if we do this and we grab a towel. Yeah, there you go. Can I at least put this one behind me? Beautiful. Just breathing here. And if it feels right for you, kicking into the feet. Just meeting yourself wherever you're at. Good. Perfect. slowly releasing, allowing the head to meet the mat. And then we let go. And just exhaling, and letting it go. Here, shifting ourselves back onto the seat. So we're going to allow our left leg to go out straight in front of us and bring the 
right foot into the left thigh. Beautiful. Then we're just going to inhale and shift our chest over our left foot. Inhale, big hands up, and exhale, folding over the body. And maybe we're bending our knee here again for the chest to meet the thigh. Oh, you need this way. Okay. Yep, you want to put it down there. Good, and that's great. It's right there. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, you can lengthen your spine. Exhale, folding over the leg. One more breath. And as you exhale, coming back, hands over, up, and down by the side, switching legs. Right comes out in front of us. Left bend in. Perfect. Shifting the chest over the right leg. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, folding over, bending your knee if you need. Maybe we're grabbing our shins, our ankles, our foot. Meeting our body wherever it's at. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, folding over. One more breath here. And just come up as you inhale. And exhaling down by our side. From here, we're going to come to our tabletop position. So again, now we're going to go into um, pigeon pose. So I'm going to give you a choice. So the first is traditional pigeon pose. So my right knee is going to come up by my right wrist. And it's going to fold like this, okay? You can just watch for now, okay? I'm going to show you too and see what works for your body. Then I'm going to start to allow that left leg to go out straight behind me. Now my foot is pressing into the mat and this left leg is active. I'm not dumping into either side of my hips. The weight is distributed evenly. I come up onto my uh, tented fingers and inhale my chest proud, like a proud New York pigeon. Now if this doesn't work for your body, you can come into a figure four, reclining on your back, bringing that right <clears throat> ankle to the knee, and just hugging it in here. So whatever works for you. Okay, so that again. Yep, so for pigeon, we're gonna bring that right knee to the right wrist, and it's, the foot is folding into my hip, perfect. That left leg is out back and active, so really press that into. If it's too much, go into figure four. Good? And then just tent your fingers up, chest proud. Nice. Maybe put a little pillow to support the hip. Good. Foot press in. Yeah, so just bring this foot leg a little bit over what I just said. Pressing it in. Perfect. Good. Yep, yeah, you can do that there. Just relax. So you want to put this on top of here. Can you do that? No. So bring it down a little bit. Just like that. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. As you come out, slowly bringing the front leg to the top and switching the legs. So you can come to your tabletop again. Now the left knee is going to the left wrist. The right leg is out, back in front of us, engaged, tenting up onto our fingers and making sure that the weight is evenly distributed in our hips. Good, and then just breathing in, shining that chest out. Slowly shifting that front 
Draw that back leg to the front. Coming onto the seat. You just recline back into your back and resting. From here, just inhaling the knees in for a body, rocking back and forth, just giving that lower back a nice little massage into the ground. And when you're ready, finding a point of stillness, I'm just taking that right hand over to the outside of the left knee. And your knees are still hugged into your body. Then you're gonna tee your left arm out to the side in line with your shoulder, and you're just gonna shift your legs over to the right side for a nice spinal twist. An invitation to take your gaze over to your left, making sure the knees are in line with each other. Going all the way down. Yep, you can go all the way down. <laughs> Beautiful. All the way down, why not come back up? <laughs> this is exactly the way. So you mean you can come, like, come down, uh, bring your knees down here a little bit? Come down? Then, yeah, bring them down like that, and then you can shift down if you want. Okay. Yep, and just get relaxed into the ground. If you want, Frank, you can put the pillow in between your knees if that's okay. Oh, okay. okay. Your shoulder, yeah, it might, because you want kind of like your shoulder to be okay. into the ground. One more breath here. Inhaling, bringing the knees slowly back to center. Taking a resting breath here. Left hand goes to the outside of the right <clears throat> knee, and you start to slowly shift the legs over to the left side, teeing the right arm out. And if it's comfortable for your neck, your gaze can go towards your arm. Good. Just making sure the knees are in line with each other. Whenever you're ready, coming back to center. Giving yourself a nice hug, your forehead coming up, up to your knees if you want. And Yogi's choice for a last pose, maybe you just wanna go into your final resting pose. You can do happy baby, Matt's favorite. <laughs> so you grab the bottom of your feet, your knees come into your, um, your armpits. And you can walk back and forth here. Beautiful. <laughs> that always happens. <laughs> you can really bend your knees too if you need, if you want to grab the top of your feet, whatever works for you. And then whenever you're ready individually, beginning to find your final resting pose, Savasana. So your feet are going to come out in front of you, your hands, your arms to your side, the top of your hands resting into the mat. If you have any lower back pain in this, you can always um, tent your like, knees up, whatever works for you. You good? This way? You can go this way, yeah. Hands up. Frank, we're five minutes away from putting. So slowly beginning to close the eyes here. We're just softening our gaze. Inhaling and exhaling. Oh. And just having a moment of gratitude for our body and all it did for us. This past hour in this practice. However, it showed up, being thankful for it.
ascension to our left shin, our left knee, our left attention to our right shin, our right knee, our right thigh, our right shin, our right knee, our right thigh, and completely relax. Giving attention to our hips, our glutes, our hips and our glutes are completely attention to our chest, our collarbone, our shoulders, the chest, the collarbones, the shoulders are completely relaxed. Giving awareness to our left upper arm, our left elbow, our left to the right upper arm, the right forearm, the right elbow, the right wrist, the right hand, the whole right wrist. Arm is completely relaxed. Giving attention to our throat. Our throat is relaxed. It's completely attention to the left cheek, the right cheek. Both cheeks are completely relaxed. Paying attention to our forehead, the space in between our eyebrows. They are relaxing. The forehead is completely to our whole head. Our whole head is completely relaxed. The whole body is completely relaxed.
In your feet and bring your body a nice big stretch, waking it up. And whenever you're ready, curling over to whatever side works for you into a fetal position, the hands out to support the head, and just letting the eyes still rest gently as you close here. Just taking more and more breath here. Exhale, slowly shifting to back up to a comfortable seated position. And just checking in with yourself here at the end of practice. And seeing did anything change when you were first seated here an hour ago? Did the body feel different, the mind, the breath? And just knowing this is always available to you. Nothing is ever permanent, just like our breath, the movement and the sounds around us. It can always change. We have the power to change. And we'll close the class with one OM and three Shantis. You're welcome to listen or join in. Inhale, exhale, hands at heart center. Inhale. Beautiful. You guys did so good. I think Frank's a yogi. That's Frank, a, you are. This is not easy. I know. <laughs> that was not easy. No, I can do it.